Okay, so I'm going to do a couple movie reviews, and um, the first one I'm going to do is for the movie Singing in the Rain from 1952. For me, this is one of my favorite uh, movies, and it's definitely one of my favorite musicals of all time. I love musicals. I've, I've said before, musicals are my favorite genre of film, and um, this movie stars Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, and Deb. Debbie Reynolds, I was going to say Deborah. Debbie Reynolds. It also has, um, oh, her name just left me. Uh, um, Rita Marino in it. She plays a very small, small role, but, um, and she's more well known for, like, uh, West Side Story and The King and I. But, um, in this one, she's kind of like a, very, uh, she's she has very little screen time, and, and I think it was one of her first roles. But anyway, um, and for me, Singing in the Rain uh, was my introduction to Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor. I had never heard of Donald O'Connor. I had heard of Gene Kelly. I didn't really know a whole lot about him, or and I had definitely had never seen anything with him in it. And after watching this movie. I fell in love with Jane Kelly and Donald O'Connor, and I like went out and found anything and everything I could find with these two in it. And um, I, uh, it was for me, pretty much love at first sight for this movie. It's it's humorous, it's touching, it's joyous. It makes you want to go out and. And I actually did when it, I'm from Oregon originally, so when it would rain, I would go out and I would sing in the rain, and uh, I would try to emulate the the dance. And um, I think it's fun how interesting. A couple interesting facts about the movie is in the famous "Sing in the Rain" uh, scene uh, where Gene Kelly is singing and dancing in the rain. He himself was actually very sick. He had like the flu or a cold or something, and a hundred and three degree temperature. And I've had a 103 degree temperature, and when I had it, I was laid up on my back in a hospital room. Um, I was not attempting to, to do any of that. And so kudos to him for even being able to. Um, a lot of um, stories are about like Jane Kelly wasn't necessarily the nicest person on set, and he's he he himself even said you know i wasn't the nicest to debbie reynolds it's amazing that he, she even still talks to me but you know so it's good that they made up but another like interesting uh behind the scene fact is that like i guess in dancing it's not as common for the stronger side to be left like to spin and turn and to dance to the left i guess is not as common it's more common to go right and i am a former dancer myself it, not that not tam dancing I used to do ballet and so I wanted to test to see where you know if I was stronger on my right or stronger on my left like which side I was better and more comfortable at. and I I go left so it's is interesting to me and um, I'm like oh wow I'm uncommon <laughs> but um, and I don't really don't know how accurate that really is like if it's common or uncommon but the reason I mentioned was because Gene Kelly said you know especially if you have a dance partner it's best to have them both be their stronger sides be the same side you know instead of having one be stronger going to the right and one stronger to the left but so he asked on O'Connor because there's a couple dance moves that you know dance scenes that they did together with like good morning and fit as a fiddle and Moses supposes and <coughs> excuse me and it was uh, funny because like Gene asked Donald you know what side are you you know are you lefty or are you righty when it comes to dancing and Donald said he was a lefty and Gene Kelly was like that's great because so am I and so I thought that was kind of fun and interesting I think the movie might have gotten more um critical acclaim or more like award acclaim uh, for the time had Gene Kelly's movie American in Paris not just come out the year before. I know I'd heard once that Gene Kelly thought like the movie he'd be known for was American in Paris and in reality I really think it's more Sing in the Rain. Sing in Rain is one of the 
the uh, if you look at the AFI list of 100 greatest movies, it's right up there. I think it's like number five or something like that. It's like definitely in the top ten of AFI's greatest movies ever made, and American Paris is not. Although that is a good movie too. Um, Gene Kelly also co-directed this movie, Singing in the Rain, and um, he'd done that a couple times with Stanley Donnan, um, but. Um, I definitely would give this movie a 10 out of 10. If you haven't seen it, go to Netflix, rent it. it it's a, definitely a movie that everybody should see at least once in their life. Going on with this Gene Kelly theme, just because I am a Kelly girl. I'm not, I have seen a few movies with Frank, not Frank, Fred Astaire, and I own a few movies with him, and he's, he's good, but... I am a Kelly girl all the way. If you ask me which of the two I, of the song and dance men I prefer from that era, it's definitely Gene Kelly. So going with that, I'm going to also review the movie uh, Anchors Away from 1945, which also stars Frank Sinatra and a very young Dean Stockwell. Um, I personally don't think that Dean Stockwell as a kid looks anything like he does now, um, and also stars Catherine Grayson. And for people who may not know who Dean Stockwell is, he, if you've ever seen the movie, or not the movie, but the TV show, um, Quantum Leap, he plays Al, the hologram. And so to see him as a little kid is, is kind of weird. I'm like, he was alive back then, but, uh, whatever. Um, so... But this movie for me is actually probably the best Gene Kelly, Frank Sinatra uh, combo movie. And they did three. They did, uh, in 1949, they also did Take Me Out the Ball Game and On the Town. And I actually would put even Anchors Away Above On the Town. And um, there's a scene in the movie where if you watch it, you don't even have to watch that, look that closely. It's pretty clear um, where Frank Sinatra totally loses character, you know, loses character and he he stops being Clarence and he's like Frank Sinatra. There's a scene in the police station and if you look in the background you can see Frank Sinatra just cracking up laughing for like two seconds and um which I thought was fun to see. I, I love watching movies repeatedly because then you see all these different things you didn't see the first time because when you see it the first time you're just watching the movie but if you see it more than once you start looking for errors and um uh, it's or sometimes you don't even start looking you just kind of know they're like oh well hmm but so that for me was really like a really fun find to find just like for like two seconds Frank Sinatra just totally breaking character and start cracking up and um, the chemistry that they had as you know it's two friends on the show is great I think I could totally see why they did two more movies together and um, <coughs> um yeah but uh this this is getting a little bit longer than i thought and i totally lost where i was going um for sing in the rain like i said i think i said i said i'd give it 10 out of 10 for anchors away i'd probably give it 8 out of 10 um but it's very good both are very good and if you like gene kelly at all definitely definitely watch both of these movies oh also with anchors away gene kelly broke ground by doing a dance with Jerry the Mouse from Tom and Jerry. Um, originally they wanted Mickey Mouse, but Dizzy said no. And so they went with Jerry the Mouse and um, it was kind of unheard of to mix live action and animation in, together at the same time. Um, so it was kind of like this, oh wow. And I have heard that Walt Disney kind of regretted not allowing it, but um, yeah, that was, a, something I just thought of. Alright, now I'm going to sign off. Okay, those are my two reviews. First Thing in the Rain, 1952, and Anchors Away, 1945. 10 and 10, 8 out of 10.